So welcome to the HackerRank 30 Days Challenges, Day 2. I'm Kain Chandra Tech Pro, and we are going to take it very easy and quiet. The difficulty for this is easy. As I used to say, you need to read all the uh, content provided, all the text provided. Please try to read it carefully. And also, if you are joining for the first time, please subscribe. If you have challenges, let me know in the comment box below this video. So the objective of this challenge is that you work with arithmetic operators. Check out the tutorial tab. But in this, in this case, we are going to be doing our tutorial right here in my whiteboard. We are going to also be writing the code in Python if necessary. All right. Given the meal price, the base cost of a meal tip percent, the percentage of the meal price being added as a tip, the tax percent, the percentage of the meal price being added as tax for a meal, find and print the meal total cost, round the result to the nearest integer. So basically, let's see what we have. So what we are expected to do uh, is that we have the meal cost, so we have meal cost, and also we have the, we are given the tax percent, tax percent, and we are given the tip percent. Now we have the meal cost, that's fine. Now we also need to calculate the tax. So the tax is going to be tax percent of 100 times meal cost. So it's going to be tax percent, tax percent over 100 times meal cost. All right, so this is fine because we have this um, precedent, so it's gonna do this first and then this. So you don't have to put brackets like this from here and here. This is not necessary, but if you want, you can just do it. And the tip will now be the tip percent. Basically, the same thing we did over 100 times the meal costs. And once you add these three together, you simply round up on uh, one set. Let me just do this. So we have the total now will be equal to the meal cost plus tax plus tip. And then we are going to print, we are going to print, but in this case, we are going to round it off by using the round function and then we print the total. So this is basically the solution to the problem. So let's go and type it out in the code and let's see if it's going to work. All right, so let's see. Let me just go down here. Okay. So in this case, we are going to write it as a function. So let's see. Uh, all right, so we are going to write this function right here. So based on our formula, we have the tax is going to be, okay, let's calculate the t first. It's going to be the t percent underscore percent divided by 100 times the meal cost and the tax is going to be tax percent over 100 times the meal cost and then we are going to also say the total is equal to meal cost plus t plus tax all right and now to print out the total, we are going to simply say print, and then we are going to round the total before we print it, all right? You can also round it here by saying round, then you put everything in bracket, but this is also fine. All right, so I'm going to submit this code and let's see if it works. So I'm going to run this code and then later we submit. All right, so it passed the sam sample test case zero and one. So let's submit the code to see if everything goes fine. So we can see that it passed the four test cases. All right, congratulations if you've gone this far. The next thing we are going to be doing now is moving on to day three, where we are going to be talking about conditional statement. Meanwhile, I would like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe and also like and share the video. I remain kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.